Hello guys, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you lesson number three, the lesson that concludes this book, We Want to be Superman. Um, if you want to see lesson number one and lesson number two, I'm going to leave the links in the description below, so please check them out. Um, so in this lesson we finish this book and I also um, include a story from Raskitz. Raskitz is a leveled uh, reading comprehension product uh, designed for kids and uh, sometimes as teachers we use it in class. So you can see how I implemented some elements of uh, the story from the Raskitz books into this class. And actually, this lesson was designed by my super good friend, Matthew Van Orden, who is an amazing teacher and who also has a channel on YouTube. I'm going to leave, uh, leave a link to his channel below. And please check it out because he also um, teaches at school in Nanjing. Uh, he also does walkthroughs and also he sells PowerPoints. So if you want to get a ready-to-go PowerPoint, you can go to his channel and just buy it from him. He makes amazing PowerPoints and he makes amazing lessons. Um, I can guarantee you that. All right. And uh, yeah, so please <laughs> enjoy my video. Enjoy my class. And if you like what I'm doing, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and tell me what you think about my lessons in the comments below. Well, thank you very much. So lesson number three, we want to be Superman, people who help us. Bye. Yes, 
Yes, this boy is clever. So the boys get a point. Full sentence. Rule number three is listen to the teacher now. Yes, always give me a full sentence. What is rule number four? Rule number four is say English so Chinese. Yes. We speak English in English class, and we speak Chinese in Chinese class. Okay, what is rule number five? Rule number five is raise your hand. Good, what is rule number six? Rule number six is not be hard. That's right, and here is our classroom language. Please read. How do you say school in English? Right? 
because they want to be like Superman and they want to help other people. Let's see how they help. Let's take a look. How do they help other people? Now, look, this sentence, let's read this way. Boys, girls, boys, girls, boys, girls. Can we try that? Yeah. Okay, boys, start. Go. So in one word, 
It is hopeless. It has no home. We don't feel happy when we have no home, right? Yeah. Yes. So you see, they protect animals and feed them. They give them food. What else do they do? I need new hands. Please wake up. Please wake up. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. That's right. Thank you very much. They show people the way. That's right. If you are lost, if you don't know where to go, some people can help you. And look, this is how the story ends. Now, all the girls, can you read how the story ends? All the girls, please. Yes, this is how the story ends. There are two more supermen in the world. And I have a question for you. What did you learn from this book? What is the lesson? What did you learn? Everybody please think, okay? We should help people. Yes, thank you. We learned that we should help people. Any other ideas? What did we learn from the story? Yes. Yes, good girl. That's a very good point. Anyone can be superman. Think. Do we need to be superman to help other people? Yes. Really? No. Do we need to be a superhero to help other people? Do we need to fly in the sky? No. Do we need to shoot the web? Do we need to smash things to help other people? No. So I think the lesson we learned here is we don't need to be Superman to help other people. I can help you and you can help me. Yes? And helping each other makes us Happy. We feel good when we help other people, right? Yeah. yeah, so you don't need to be Superman to help other people. When you help people, you become a superhero. If you help your moms and dads and teachers, you are all superheroes, right? Okay, so everybody please read. And in fact, there are many people who help us, right? Many people who help us. So who else helps us? Can you tell me? Who helps us? New hands. I need new hands. New hands, please. Doctors. Doctors. Nurses. What else? Firefighters. Yes. Who else? Teachers help us, yes. Bus drivers help us, taxi drivers, street cleaners, lots of people help us. But today, we are going to talk about police officers. Yes, what? Hello, I am Chief Winger. I'm a police officer and it is my job to help and protect people. And we are going to start with a pop quiz. Let's see what you know. I need one boy and one girl. You will see a question and you need to choose A, B, C, or D. Very easy. A, B, C, or D. A, B, C, or D. So, this boy, that girl, please stand up, please stand up. Up, 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 up. Just say A, B, C, or D. Chitadar and Pudan Tishin. Trey Tishin ko Sampan. All right. What is this A, B, C, or D? Choose one. A, B, C, or D. Uh, D. D. Yeah. Yes, that's right. You 
are right. Together, ten cups. Ten cups. Ten cups. That's right, that's right. Boys get a point. Sit down, please. Next one. We can do the next one. All right, all right, all right, all right. One and two. Yes. What is this? Hey, that is a hand. Very easy. Girls get a point. Next one. Next one. Yes. One and two. You two. All right. Ready? Let's take a look. What is this? What is this? C. C. Correct. It's a uniform. It's a uniform. And the last one. The last one. Okay. You two. What is this? B. B, yes, this is a gun, correct, thank you, sit down. So now let's read, everybody please read. Yes, they keep us safe, how do we say safe in Chinese? That's right, that's right, safe. And this is a helmet. What's a helmet in Chinese? What's a helmet in Chinese? Oh, that's right. A helmet keeps your hands safe. Look, you have hair. Your hair keeps your hands safe. But not me. I have no hair. I have nothing to keep me safe. Well, my hair is too short. Yes. All right, so here we go. Okay, so next one. Police. Or, nerd. or study. Which one? Study. Or learn. Learn or study. Learn or study. study. Learn or study. study. Look, in Chinese we say xuexi, right? Yes. But in English we have two words. We have two words for xuexi. Which one? Yoshu What's the difference? Here we say learn, we don't say study. Why? Let me tell you. Look, let me tell you. So look, learn means 学习, study means 学习. We say learn when we talk about skills. We learn to do something, yeah? We gain a skill by learning. So you say, I learned to swim. I learned to play football. I learned to speak English. I learned to play the piano. You understand? You use this word when you talk about skills. Okay? But you use the word study when you go to school. For example, in Chinese we say, in English, we say, I study at school. So, when you read books, you study. When you read dance, you study. When you go to school, you study. So, you can say, he learned about computers by reading a book. Or, he studied computer science at school. You understand? Good. So, look. Oh, oh sorry. Police learn about laws together. Law. 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 The law says you cannot steal. Yeah. The law says you must do homework. <laughs> the law says you must listen to teacher bell. No. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And also they learn to be safe Gun. with guns. That's right. This is a gun. Police officers have guns. Okay, next one. Everybody, please read. That's right. And this is Chinese police, yes? What color? <coughs> Excuse me, what color are they uniform? Yes, please read it. Wear blue, uni blue uniforms, correct, yes. 
Now, all the girls, please read this. All the girls.
If you're flying a plane, it means you're a pilot. But if you say, I am flying on a plane, it means you are not flying a plane, you're a passenger. You are sitting there. Do you understand? Yes. So, drive a car, you're a driver. Fly a plane, you're a pilot. So here we say many police ride in cars. That's right. Next one. Excellent. Yes, some police fly helicopters. You see, he's a pilot. He's flying a helicopter, right? Okay. This one. Police direct. Yes, police direct traffic. Correct. Okay. And here's our dialogue. We will be practicing it. Okay, so now, boys ask the question, girls answer. Okay? Boys go. What do you think? Paper, 
Peter shoot? Who wants to try? Who wants to try? Let's see. This girl over there and okay, you can rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Quiet, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Officers.